Guys, my name is Samir Mohammed, and in this video, I'll show you how to create alerts in SharePoint lists and libraries and the different alert settings that come with it. After watching this video, you will know how to create alerts and better manage them. SharePoint alerts are email notifications that are sent by SharePoint when something changes in the list or library. So let's go ahead and take a look at how I can configure the alerts. And this is on the documents library. So if you click on the ellipse here, you will see two different options. One for alert me and second for managing all the alerts that you have already created. Click on alert me and this is where you specify the alert. You can specify alerts on any list or library, may it be task list or announcements, contact list or custom list of any other or, or any other library in itself. So just make sure that you give it a proper name and the alert title, which is a good practice. And whatever name you give here, when you get the email notification, the subject and the body of the email will be what you specify over here. So make sure you give it a proper name. In my case, this is my only alert, so I think that I'm just going to keep it documents. Now, send alerts is pretty obvious. Specify the person you want to send the alert. By default, it shows your name. You can choose name of other people in your organization also. This option is available only if you are the owner because now you are setting up alerts for others as well. If you are logged in just as a member, you will not get this option and the only thing you get is the delivery method which automatically specifies your email address as you can see over here. So it will not give you an option to set up an alert for other users also. And again, the, in the delivery method, you see by default it's your email address. You can also specify a phone number if you want text messages to be sent out. But this requires some additional configuration. Change type is pretty much where you specify what kind of behavior should trigger an alert. If you want to notify all the changes in this list or library, or just new changes are added when existing items are modified, or when items are deleted, accordingly, you can select the right option over here. Send alerts for these changes is where you can filter the alerts even further. For example, you are just concerned about the documents you have modified. You can select that option. Anything changes is specified in here as the default. You can select if someone else changes a document or when someone else changes a document created by me or someone else changes a document last modified by me. Depending on your requirement, you can select the right setting over here as well. Now, when to send the alerts, this can be specified in this section. Do you want to send notifications immediately or just send daily summary or just a weekly summary? I prefer notifications sent immediately if somebody's messing with my documents or modifying or deleting my documents in any way. Finally, hit on OK, and this is my alert. right there, the documents alert. Now, after this alert has been created, I can go in the alert again, as I just showed you, and manage your alerts. Now, let's take a look also as at this email notification. As soon as an alert has been created, an email confirmation was sent out to me. The alert document has been successfully added on this document library and you will receive alerts according to the delivery method, timing and criteria that were selected when the alert was created. If you like this video, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you.